Hi and welcome to a new video about Unity and WebRTC. And this time we're going to have a look at how to transmit audio via WebRTC. For everyone who is following the WebRTC tutorial series for a longer time, already saw that there is a data channel tutorial, a media stream tutorial where we try to transmit video streams uh, for multi-receiver, for some kind of video chat application and even with XR. And we're now going to do the same with our audio stuff and for that I just duplicated my media stream sample scene and changed a little bit to make it fit for audio. So let's go over the scene first, then dive a little bit into the code and then test it out. And first of all, I just wanted to give a big shout out to our new YouTube members. They are listed here. And if you're interested in getting direct access to the source code or get other benefits like prioritized comment answering and so on, consider becoming a YouTube member. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe and comment to the video so this will really help the channel grow and will help you getting more videos on specific topics like this one regarding WebRTC. Nevertheless, let's go on with the explanation. So first of all, I deleted all the streaming camera stuff and so on. And there is only one camera here, the UI camera. Make sure the audio listener is enabled. A directional light, global volume, all the default stuff, a logging canvas for logging the current state on screen. And this is the first thing we have here. The simple data channel server is active. We'll just have a look at the code in a second. And there is an audio sender with a call button, which enables us to start the call on the sender side. And this is pretty easy. This is just a canvas with a button and a text. And the button will just enable our sender component, which is disabled here. The same goes for the receiver side. There is a simple media stream audio receiver component and a receiver canvas here without a button, just with the text. And as you already noticed, there is an audio source added to both. So on the center side with an audio clip, you can do this by code too. Um, I just chose to link it here directly. And on the receiver side, there is an odd output audio source with no clip. So we will set this clip via our WebRTC transmission and replay it on the client side. Make sure that this audio clip is something that is not too um, annoying. I just replaced all the Unity default stuff, sinus waves with some forest ambience to make it a little bit easier for you to listen. And I will make it loop too. So we'll see that in a minute when I hop into the code. Maybe just to show you that this works in the editor too. Let's start the scene. I'm first enabling the receiver here and then click on start call. And as you can hear, the forest ambience is already playing. And there are two audio sources playing, the input audio source and the output audio source. And just to give you a short notice that the output audio source is working too, I will just change the pitch and it will sound strange. So you heard that kind of noisy thing. This was the output audio source and the input audio source controls what will be transmitted. For instance, if I reduce the volume here, you will not hear anything. Well, and that's basically it and it's working just on the local network. And you can do the same for, for instance, deploying it to an Android device. Make sure that the sender 
uh, the server component is not deployed on your Android device as this will spin up a WebRTC server and this has to at least run on your standalone device or on your server device. So after we've tested this, just we just hop into the code go over here and I'll just have the well-known simple data channel server script here enabled my simple data channel service. I mean, the naming is not perfect, but it's simply just um, transmitting messages from one sender to all receivers. We just can have a look here. Forward all messages to all other clients except myself. I will not go over all the connection stuff in detail. I'll link the video for the media stream over here, somewhere over here in the top right corner. There I already explain everything regarding the connection on WebRTC. And this will just be a high level overview now. So if we go over to the sender script, there is this simple media stream audio sender script, which has a reference to our input audio source. We just see it here. There is the sender script and there is our input audio source, a peer connection, a media stream and an audio stream track. And the rest is basically all the same over all the WebRTC tutorials that are here. Just make sure that all your IP addresses are switched to your server. So this is my local machine IP address in my local network and establishing the WebSocket connection, checking all the um, message handling via WebRTC, having the candidates and the answers, adding the ICE candidates and so on. This is always the same. And here on the connection side, this will also stay the same. The only thing that changed here is that I replaced everything regarding the video stream with my audio stream. So I'll just play the audio source. This can be any audio source, like your microphone input and so on. And I'll just create a new audio stream track, add it to my connection. And as soon as the connection will be established, this track will be played over the network. The rest is the same. All the connection handling stuff. Again, check the simple media stream tutorial here on YouTube, which is linked either down below or on the top right, as I said before. And the same goes for the receiver side. We just linked the output audio source, linked it here. And the same for the connection stuff, replace the IP with your local server, message handling happening here, candidate, the offer and so on. And on the connection side, every time we are opening a track, we check if this is an audio stream track, set the track to our output audio source. This is an extension method from the WebRTC package. I let it loop and just play it. And this not only works on my local machine, but also on an Android device within the same local area network. For instance, if I just disable these two and just make my Android device the sender and then go to build and build and run on my Android device, and for testing reasons, I'll just enable the server here, the client here, and shrink this a little bit together. See it here, the sender side on the right side and the server on the left side. So I'll just start on Unity now. enable my client and let my smartphone send. And as you can hear, the smartphone is sending everything over the network while we're about to see. Well, and that's it. It's easy as that to transfer your audio via WebRTC. And I said again, 
special thanks to our YouTube supporters and uh, members. If you want to become a member too, the link is in the description box. Otherwise, please like, subscribe and comment and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.